Hello world, I'm Gokarp, welcome back to Inscription, where at this moment we are here beyond the snow line and I think we're gonna go here, because I'm not sure which this is. Uh, this is, I believe, the th this was the trader, right? We don't even have any pelt, like we have one rabbit pelt, so I don't see any reason to go there and try to tr trade those pelts in. So yeah, let's go uh, this way and see what this thing is. You arrive at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials, and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. Okay. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first, you will choose a trial. So, let's choose the trials. The trial of wisdom. Three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. Okay, can we look at our deck here? So, we got lots of things that don't have symbols and... I think we're gonna go for power, cause even blood, like we have a lot of cards that don't have a very high blood cost. Yeah, I think power, power is the best for us. So let's go for attack power and see what we're drawing. Let the trial of power begin. Wolf, opossum, and adder. So yeah, three from the wolf, two from the opossum, one from the adder. You have passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was... Oh, I get... Ooh. So... A waterborne wolf, a bone king, beehive, or a stinky cat. Let's take the stinky cat. The inhabited cat joined your menagerie. Okay, and then we could get items. We only have two, because the knife is considered an item as well. Or we could remove a card. Hmm, what would we remove? I have the two bullfrogs, because I believe there is a thing with if you have two of the same. So there's a, like a event where if you have two of the same, you can combine them. And that would be kind of nice. Uh, hmm. I honestly don't think I want to remove anything, like, maybe the ant. Yeah, probably the worker ant. Yeah, let's just, let's, yeah, let's go and remove the worker ant. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? Choose wisely! Stop this. Okay, let's choose wisely, and I was gonna choose the ant. Yeah, there it is, the ant. Oh! I clicked on the wrong ant! Oh wait, I can still go back. Right, good. No, again! How is... The worker ant! Right. You callously slaughter the worker ant. However, the bone lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Oh! A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor worker and, and carried onwards. I honestly thought that would have just been just a remove, remove a card thing, because removing a card is powerful. Getting a boon on top of removing a card, that's like twice as powerful. Okay, so what do we got this time? Reindeers! Reindeers have a tail. Okay, so we got a squirrel, we got a grizzly, we got a geck. Okay, so this is good. Uh, what is this? A moose buck? Three, seven? Uh, holy crap, that's pretty powerful. So wait, if he comes next turn, so he's gonna do three damage. The mole is a burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Hmm. 
Because we have the Gek here, so we can actually go all the way to two blood and get the wolf in. Which is probably what we have to do. Yeah, we're going to put the squirrel in, we're going to put the Gek in, we're going to sacrifice the squirrel and the Gek. And put the wolf in here. Because this wolf also has a tail. So the moose buck will come here, it'll attack the wolf. Yeah, I think we might be able to do something with this. Yeah, because he's gonna hit the wolf and the wolf's gonna go away. He's gonna move ugh, the mole. If when an empty space would be struck. So ooh, this is going to be kinda horrifying now that I think about it. Okay, let's just take salutations. Yes, yeah, salutations to you two. Now if we put you here the moose bug is only going to hit for two. Now, we don't actually want to hit the moose bug, though. So, yeah, we're going to put the stink bug. Yeah, we put the stink bug in here. Good play. Not so sure about that. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to kill the moose. We're going to take three damage, so we're going to go back to zero. Oh, no, the other mole is coming in. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, because you are. Alright, you have deathly. I forgot. I forgot that you were deadly, <laughs> man. Sometimes, cause it's like, cause it's very si like this game is pretty simplistic. Specifically, the fact that we only need to do five damage. Ooh, the pernicious vulture, a tyrant of disguise. So sometimes, cause five damage is quite easy. Like two times three, that's five. So if you get three in from a wolf and three in from the next turn, you're winning already. And sometimes, just like how quickly these uh, matches go over, it's just uh, goes goes away. From my head, like the idea that oh these are these aren't like these are always very small matches. The apotheosized goat, the truest offering, sacrificing its great grants three blood. The common is magpie. It can fetch any card in your deck. Yes, we're most definitely going to take the magpie because it's hard. When you card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. That's powerful. Like in any card game where you don't have a set deck, like if you are picking randomly from your deck, that's always a strong effect. Okay, let's go for the fire, see what we can get from here uh, this time. Is it, uh, okay, it's attack again. One creature by the fire, enhance its power, said a hungry survivor. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that, so. Nope, nope, nope. So this guy just doesn't want to do that. Who do we want to be more powerful? Like getting the opossum to be even more powerful would be kind of nice. Getting the wolf to be 4 too would maybe be pretty nice as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll increase this wolf. The fire warmed the weary wolf and enhanced its power. You suspect that the enchantments of the survivors were less than pure. With your wolf in tow, you retreated into the woods. Okay, and so what do we got? I don't, I didn't want to go all the way there. I want to see, so we get a fight with a card, sacrifice, fight. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna go for. So, right, the free, free thing. Okay, what do we get incoming? Oh, oh, the Ouroboros. Okay, so, Hefty, at the end of the owner's turn, the card bearing the sigil will move in the direction described in the sigil. Creature in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Hmm, so if I put down the rabbit belt pelt over here, it's gonna block the moose buck. And if I put a squirrel down here, the squirrel's not gonna die. And next turn I can pick another squirrel, take the Ouroboros, or put the Ouroboros in play, and that's really all we need to think about, I think. Oh, you went the other way. I was expecting you to go this way. Ah, strange. Well, we're going to take a squirrel and we're going to sacrifice the squirrels for the Ouroboros. Uh, yeah, I didn't really don't see any reason why we wouldn't just go... F no, no, no. We'll go here. Yeah, we'll go here. Because uh, the Mole Man is going to move. And we're gonna kill the mole man with the Ouroboros, because the mole is the thing, the burrower. It's the same thing that we had in the previous fight. So, yeah, 
it's gonna go there. These things are gonna come down, and we're taking one damage, which is fine. Uh, we'll take a squirrel, we'll play the squirrel, put a bullfrog over here to kill the elk fawn. And the Ouroboros kills the mole. Oh, and almost killed the elk. Oh, damnation, we're not actually killing the moose buck. For some reason, I was thinking that we're gonna kill it with the Ouroboros, but that's not how it's gonna play out. Well, uh, we're gonna pick a card from here. Okay, it's the Ant Queen, don't really want the Ant Queen even be in my deck. Okay, so we can... Yeah, if we pick a squirrel and put it here to block, this is going to be fine. Where did this boulder come from? Oh, the moose buck moved the boulder right, that's what happened. Okay, so we're gonna kill those two. Right, and I'm gonna pick something, hoping that it gives us cards, or that it that gives us something that we can play with bones. That's what I was hoping for. But no such luck. Uh, well, let's try again. Okay, the cat. Right, well, next turn. Well, actually, there's gonna not. Okay, well, there is still going to be a next turn, but unless he plays something. Well, he played a raven, that doesn't really matter at all. But what we can do here is we can sacrifice the Ouroboros for the cat. The Ouroboros comes into our hand. It's now a 7 7. And then we are going to put that in play. Actually, no. Let's put the adder in play. Like so. And then we can put the Ouroboros in play. And then we can. Did I just find out a way to make this uh, infinite? No, it's not gonna be infinite. But we're gonna. We're gonna make it pretty big. Uh, are we gonna win now? We're gonna win with two, yeah, okay, so we're already winning, so. Let's just put the 9 9 Ouroboros in. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, that's a big creature. Right, okay, we'll go here. And see. The flighty elk, it moves after attacking. Look okay, up, turkey vulture. Uh, let's take the turkey vulture, maybe. Like, eight bones is a lot of bones, but. Maybe we can sack. Sacrifice the turkey vulture, it was a flyer. And. Ooh, the magpie. Sacrifice the magpie. Are we gonna get both of the symbols? If. You know what? That's. I, I gotta test this. So we're gonna sacrifice the magpie. And we're gonna give these things to. The geck. Yeah, because if we can actually make the geck. Be a, a, like a search card, then it's gonna be free. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Is he gonna get both of the symbols? He did. Ooh, that's very nice. Okay. Right. The Bone Lord. Okay. What do we got incoming? Another moose bug and a mole man. Okay. Well. The Grizzly. We could put play the Grizzly right now. And does four damage, then he's gonna do three damage to the wolf. Move this way. Then the no three damage to the grizzly, not the wolf. Uh next turn the grizzly is gonna eat a little bit of the mole man we're gonna get yeah it's probably the best play here put in the squirrel put in the black goat and put in the grizzly 
I mean, the adder, yeah, might have been a better play there. In a way, because, you know, it straight up... Like, it would just straight up kill the moose there, but... Yeah, if we can now get... Well, something that has bones. Okay, it doesn't have bones. Okay, so we're gonna have to... Mm -hmm. Ah, this isn't... This isn't going quite as nicely as I was hoping. Okay, so we're gonna get five... Damage... Oh, damnation. No, we're taking zero damage. No, we're gonna be taking one damage. This turn, but the grizzly is going to die. So I think is we're gonna put a squirrel in here and play the bullfrog just to get that one damage in and prevent that one damage from there, so that we don't uh, get to a situation where we could suddenly lose. Of course, we didn't even get one damage in because of the moles, right? Well, I'm gonna have to take a squirrel now. Uh, yep, put the squirrel down, put the adder down here, and kill the moose bug. Oh, but then the elk is gonna kill. That was such a bad play. That was just that was just bad. That was just bad. Oh man, yeah, because now the elk is just gonna kill my adder. Ah, uh, the Gek! Okay, so the Gek, the Gek, I think, okay, Gek, go in there, and we are going to grab the Ouroboros, of course, the next turn we'll take a Squirrel, we'll play the Ouroboros, and things will be fine, oh, the Gek flies as well, oh, it's gonna do one damage, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no, because you blocked. Damnation. Okay, squirrel. Put the squirrel down. Sacrifice the squirrel and the geck. Put the Ouroboros in play. We're still gonna get two damage in. And we got nothing to block the elk next turn. Oh, no, no, the elk moves. Right. Okay, moving is good. Moving is good. Uh, doesn't really matter which we pick, so let's just pick an actual card. Oh, it's the possum. Well, it, that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll just play it here. Okay. Yeah, just pick a card. And, yeah, because <laughs> no one's blocking the Ouroboros, uh, we are winning here. But since we are winning here, I am going to sacrifice the Ouroboros. Put the bullfrog in, and now the Ouroboros is a 10-10. I'm gonna sacrifice these both. Put the Ouroboros in, and then, yeah, we're gonna win. Oh! Did I mess up? Did we lose? Because, okay. Okay, I didn't... <laughs> the moles! Really should be thinking about the moles. Okay, rabbit pelt. Uh, if we had gotten anything that would, you know work for a sacrifice, I would have sacrificed the Ouroboros once again to make it a little bit bigger, but... Yeah. It's, it's massively good. Ooh, there's the, uh... The boss incoming. The sadistic pronghorn. Woe be the those that need the end of its antlers. Okay, so it's, uh... Bifurcated strike sprinter that moves, so another black goat. Corpse maggots. The inevitable maggot. They will lurch forth from your hand when your creatures are killed. Wait, what? Corpse eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically placed in its place. Well, yes, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Okay, and then for the sacrifice again. Now, what are we gonna sacrifice? Your turkey vulture? Make the Ouroboros flying. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Make the Ouroboros flying. And then... For another boss.
A man stood before you. A man you recognized immediately. It was the Trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Okay, so what are you attacking us with? Strange frogs that are that have might leap, and then there is a leaping trap. Steel trap. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt call is created in your hand. Well, uh, we don't actually have to worry about any of that because we have the geck here, so we're gonna play the geck. We're gonna grab the flying Ouroboros. We are going to put down a squirrel. Uh, we are going to sacrifice the gig and the squirrel for the Ouroboros. And the Ouroboros is just immediately gonna win this first fight for us. Too fast, too soon. Damn it, game! Why? What have I missed? What have I not done? I can't, and I can't. Yeah, I can't. Get out of the table right now. Uh, am I gonna pick a card face? Oh, I wasn't gonna pick a card face. Really should have maybe picked the. Uh... Okay, let's uh, let's use the knife here. I really wonder what the because I remember what the point of the knife is. The knife is basically a bigger version of the pliers, so the knife allows us to immediately win a fight. So how how will the game react to that here now? Ow. Oh, come on! I just won! <laughs> oh. oh, no, why did I do that? Why? Oh, why did I do that? Well, I'm gonna sacrifice... I sh yeah, because I sh really should have sacrificed the Ouroboros. And, well, let's just put it in play again. Okay, but we're taking a damage now. Okay, we shouldn't be losing for a damage just yet. Uh, we're oh, our overkill isn't quite just killing the grizzly. Uh, do we have enough bones to put the corpse maggot in as well? We do. So let's put that in just to block a bit and just. See if this would be possible in any shape or form to defeat. Can I use the extra bones as well? Just because, you know, we're losing here anyways. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, if the Ouroboros was one, one bigger, we would have, like, we would have still basically won there. Well, clearly, you, you will make an exquisite pelt! Okay. And now we are... Once again, here. Well, this is the only... Stay there! No need to move! I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? He said something before there, because I was just clicking. Give me that! We have a memento to create. Behold, your death card! Shall we begin to ink it? Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, I'm gonna take the cost of the rabbit pelt. A cost of free from the rabbit pelt. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Well, we're gonna take the grizzly's power and health. Four power and six health from the grizzly. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Well, flying and search a card from the Gek, please, thank you. A sigil of airborne and a sigil of hoarder from the Gek. I never did ask your name. Okay, my name is... 
The best card. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. Cheese. And we're back. Not much for trading, that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A gift from the Angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if he were to fall to the Prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems the lowly sting bug has made its way in. But it's dealt, so it stands. Also, it doesn't look quite as much as a bug as it did earlier. Also, the stoat is start starting to look a little bit wider than it did earlier. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... There's something we should be doing here. It's probably this, so squirrel and a coyote. So we need a coyote. So we've done things here. Uh, these are just, I think, here for decoration. We've done this thing. Oh! I think because we got the Bone Lord's boon, this is here now. I mean, it wasn't here before, right? There's nothing in here. We've already done these. Yeah, there's nothing new in here. You got, oh, you got some teeth there for us to take. Got more. <laughs> Not sure if that actually, oh. The smoke. I do risk snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. But is it, this is, we're already getting this card there every time, so I'm not sure if that really did anything. Hmm. Yeah, so it's gotta be this thing that we need to do. So if we find a coyote, we're gonna have to pick it. But I think uh, we're gonna try to find a coyote in the next episode, because we're gonna put a cut in here. I'm Will Carp, and this has been Inscription. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.